Mm-mm-mm. Cheesy barbecue nachos. We can make those. Hey guys, welcome to Dinner for One. If you're new here, thanks for dropping by. And if you're following the series, thanks for coming back. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use that same rotisserie chicken to make barbecue chicken nachos. So for these, this is basically all you're going to need and whatever other toppings that you think you might want on your nachos. You'll need your favorite barbecue sauce. That's what I use. Um, some tortilla chips, another quarter of that chicken that we had, some shredded cheese, and some heavy cream. First off, I started by making a roux. And again, that's just a fat and a flour. And so I used butter and I let that melt a little bit. And then I sprinkled in a little bit of flour. Again, if you didn't see the other video, I didn't really measure. I just kind of sprinkled in until it looked right. But after everything is incorporated, it should look a little bit like this. That's how you know that you're ready to start adding the milk. So I added just a splash of the heavy cream and I started whisking that. You don't really have to worry about the lumps because as it'll cook, it'll kind of cook out on its own but that's what it should look like. It should be about this consistency, really um, kind of thin and smooth. And as you continue to cook, it might thicken up a little bit later, but that's how you want it to look right now, just like that. From there, I added in the shredded cheese. Now for this, I was really going on more of how much cheese I wanted rather than a specific amount. So you'll see me add in a little and then stir and add in a little and then stir. And this is another thing where I just kind of went on consistency here. But that's the color and consistency that it ended out with. And just look at how smooth it is. Like, and you made that on your own. Like, come on now, who needs nacho cheese when you can make it? I added a little salt because I think it needed it. And then a little bit of black pepper. Velveeta who? Anyways, this is what I did to the chicken. So after it was heated up, got it nice and hot, I put a little bit of barbecue sauce in it. This is just based off of, you know, what you like. And I kept it in my plastic container so I could put the lid on it and shake it up a bit just to get everything incorporated. You could always mix it up with a fork if you want, but that's how it turned out. And you know, that's pretty much it. I think you know where this goes. Start it with the chips. Then I added on the cheese. Then I sprinkled over that barbecue chicken. And a little cilantro that I had, cause I'm extra. And that is it. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Thanks for watching.